Ok guys, I'm here today with Carla Pravic, the Silver Fox, huge honor for me. And guys, uh, today is gonna show us here how to do the most simple and most effective guillotine choke. So he did an entire structure today all about the guillotine called the Master in the Guillotine. And today we're gonna see here how to do the most simple and most efficient, not just simple, also efficient guillotine choke. And I'm very excited to learn from here again. It's a pleasure to be here again. Thank so you. let's do this. Um, I'm a big this fan when when somebody this this is applicable both grappling as well as MMA. So my guillotine is better on my left side because I stand left leg forward. So people Good. need to pay attention to that. So as the guys come in for single leg, all I make sure that as he's coming in, I make sure his head is on the outside. I my guillotine is very shallow, which makes it very easy to get into even if the guy defends. As he's driving me down, I will make sure my leg is on the outside. Uh, no sign. <laughs> Sounds like there was a knife over here on my leg. So let's see one more time. So, so as he's coming in, I feed his head off to the side. As he's driving forward, even if Bernardo now gets a double leg, single leg, doesn't matter. Even if you reach, I'm going to go down and now. Uh, the guillotine is on. Yeah, that was tight. So, uh, Carol, why was the? There was something different here. Like your your wrist was so well positioned on my neck that sounded a little different than the regular guillotine you see everywhere. So, what was the detail there? We. It's funny. We we're talking about that on the DVD. If you look at ten guys that are good at a guillotine, then you're gonna get ten different approaches to the guillotine, probably Got ten it. different grips. So mine is I don't know a whole lot of people that use it similar to me. It's almost miniature rear naked choke. I want the trachea here. This is on one carotid, this is on the other carotid. So it's a shallow grip, my shoulder goes forward, it's a very strong choke. So even a very large man, if I can't finish them, I will always wind up on top. Yeah. And do you have to take because you're injured or is there something related to the guillotine? I believe I've been guillotining too many people in my lifetime. I <laughs> so I have to protect my hand to make sure because this is the hand. I stand left leg forward and I also always encourage people, if you stand right leg forward, you should have good right-handed guillotine. If you stand left leg forward, left-handed guillotine. Got it. And so say that, that part again. So if the person is... If, if you stand left leg forward, yeah. Chances are this is the hand that's going to be in a position to. That was a good point. I never thought if, about it. If you stand right leg forward, you you should have a good right handed guillotine. I know some people that have very good right handed guillotine, but they stand left leg forward. You will almost never get a chance to use the guillotine. I got it. And one thing I love is that uh, you force me to go to the wrong side, right? Because if I jump to the other side and yeah. defend the guillotine, right? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult. I'm going to try to lighten up on it, but if you want, I'll try to give you a chance because I keep adjusting. So. So I'll let you, I'm going to lighten up on it. So go ahead, try to clear my, yeah, it's, There's gonna, no way. it's, it's not going to yeah. happen. So you use this leg over yes. here. You're I can always it. bring this in to make, finish the choke, but I can always knock you down as well. And then mount and finish with a one-handed guillotine. I got it. So, uh, camera, can you get a little closer just to see like, I want to, Guys, I want to try to show you guys here exactly what he's doing with his wrist on my neck because it feels really different. It feels like it's right yeah. over here. I can so, hardly talk. So, <laughs> so this is this is the grip I use. Okay, man, this is tight. Yeah. Can, can, can you guys see, guys? Look, look how tight it is on my neck. Okay, and then. Uh, you just start sitting right uh, there. Uh, well, usually what happens as the guy is driving me forward, I just basically sit back to my left hip and now continue the shoulder forward is very important. I want to make sure that I don't see any of his hair. So even if my arm goes over this arm over here, you yeah. still feel Can you right? vonflu me? Can I, sorry, I didn't say. Can you vonflu me, vonflu and choke? Uh, what are those? Okay. Yeah, Cannot. Still there. Yeah. Still there. I got it. No, oh, that's awesome. No, that's awesome. And how, how did you develop that uh, curve? Like, because as a center, everybody does a little bit different. So how did you find the other way? It's funny. I'm not 100% sure. I've been doing it for a long time. There's some guys like George calls me gi man. But what I, I believe that I started it with the gi and I was doing a gi loop choke. I got it. And then so kind of mix the loop choke. Yes, and then I realized, so with the loop choke, you want to get this motion, motion. But as he was coming forward, I just brought my shoulder forward and his neck would get caught in a very small hole. Okay, that's awesome. 
So I, I believe, because it's been a long time I've been using this 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 sort of method for a long time, and I believe that that was the origin. Oh, Kurt, and it's almost impossible talking uh, to talk about guillotine without talking about guillotine for MMA as well. So yeah. you think for MMA it would work just as the sand? Or how, how is that? Absolutely. I believe guillotine is a highly underutilized weapon for MMA. And I think a lot of times when people fail with the guillotine in MMA is they don't pay adequate attention to the shoulder forward. Because when you're doing this, the head pops out. In MMA, that's oh, catastrophic. Yeah. So by really focusing on your shoulder forward, you're basically preventing the guy from popping his head out. As long as you can control his head, you can also do other things besides just choking and giving oh, transition. Yeah. Like I said, uh, you know, a lot of guys at Henzo's really good guillotine, good good guillotine defense. So even some some big guys I train with, if I can't finish them, I will be able to pin them. Literally pin a guy that's hundred pounds heavier than me on his back, and then I finish with either, either the one handed guillotine we did there, or now on top, and I can finish arm bar or something else. And what about the gloves? The gloves would make it easier or harder. I believe the gloves actually make it, make it easier. Make it because it's gonna be harder to escape because it's yeah, more... it's it's yeah, it, it it provides a little bit more bulk. I got it. No, yeah. that's all. Awesome. I think the again focus on the shoulder forward. That's one. That's one more time. Last one. So, so and for example, when I go to the ceiling, I notice that you use this hand to push my head outside. Yeah. So uh, can you talk about a little bit about this? So I, I, what I'm looking to do is isolate your head. I got it. With between my torso and my my, my arm. I got so it. at this point, if you even if if you can you pick me up, I will. This is gonna be brutal. So. Inside. Yeah, yeah, you can feel. People cannot. So in yeah. MMA, this is what's likely to happen, where the guy actually picks you up off off the ground. You stay there because I anchor with my left leg against your legs. Let's see that again. Yeah, so. this is key. So I'm gonna try not to squeeze. So pick me up okay. like a double leg. Yeah. So that's awesome. What usually guys do, they let the opponent throw their legs to your left, to my right. I don't because I'm anchored with my left leg. I bring behind the back, Man, and awesome. once I start to lean back, it's it's brutal. Yeah, so I could, I could either tap standing or if I go to the ground. Usually people will tap before we hit the ground. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's, awesome. <laughs> that's why I disengage. So. so guys, Kerry just shot this entire structure over here. All about guillotine. It's called Mastering the Guillotine. And it's going to be at bjfanatics.com soon. So guillotine from everywhere, from all the details about it, all the sequences about it. Not only like the guillotine, but how to use that in sequence. And it's coming out really, really good. So make sure to check that out. Uh, maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. And thanks so much. No, thank you awesome. so much. I really appreciate it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.